Good morning world. Okay, so what to do when you wake up sore? That's what happened to me. So I thought I was gonna uh, not do my yoga and just sit with ice on me. <laughs> but instead, I got the feeling on my way into the kitchen that I'd like to do, really, it's just like five or 10 minutes of yoga to not feel sore. So I'm just gonna do a couple of things and keep this in mind, it's easy and it just kind of makes you feel a little bit better when you're all uh, not. <laughs> I know it was because I did a lot of stuff yesterday, but still, uh, stretching and uh, treating yourself right is the best thing ever. Hi, honey, that's banjo. So let's get on with it. So, you know, the first thing I do is stretch my back. Um, I like to do this. So now this is very important. I knew a 91 year old woman that could do this because that's how they go to the bathroom in that country, in Nepal, lots of squatting in the jungle. So gotta keep that up. Can't let that go. So the first one is to open your knees up and then let yourself flop down with your forehead on the ground. Hands like this. And press. It presses your third eye. So that's what it does. Three minutes or you can not even do the hand part. You can do this. And you just breathe into your lower back. So you let go of that back that's hurting. It's child's pose. Okay. The other thing that opens up your hips is this. You stretch out, hold on to your knees and do a big circle. So see how, oops, when you get to the back, you drop your chin and then it goes out in the front. So just those, see how your back curves forward and then you make a big circle. So, chin comes out. You can use your hands on your knees to help. And then as you come around the back, chin drops again. Here we go. You can use your knees to pull yourself forward. And then what you do is you go the other way. So you're curling forward as I ram into the couch. <laughs> and then reaching out with your chin could help with uh, activity with the skin to make it tighter and brighter. So, hi there, honey. Okay, so then doing this, you can do it as slow or fast as you like. That's another helpful thing for your lower back. And just go as long as you can without feeling like you're hurting anything. If you're hurting anything, stop. Okay, this is another one you could do for a minute or two, the cobra. So what you wanna do is have half your weight on your hands and half with your lower back holding you up, legs together. And then just breathe here. This is good for your gut too, so if you ate something weird, it would help stretch things out. Breathe in as you lift up a little, and then exhale as you come down. Now, the exhaling and resting is so important, the resting especially, because you're teaching your body how to let go and relax. So if you don't drive yourself real hard, just let everything go. And let everything relax. And try to do it so that you're putting your right, your left ear, and then you're right, so you get equal sides to relax. Okay, I still need some ice. <laughs> I didn't fall or nothing. Okay, so just with those few things, and what I like to do, and you can uh, establish a ritual for yourself of praying, chanting, singing, whatever you want to do. I like to, um, 
I don't get to it every day, but I'd like to make it an everyday thing of just praying, being grateful for everything you have and blessing and loving yourself and being kind to people. So I know you're going to feel more relaxed after that. I feel a little bit better. I'm going to go do it. <laughs> I'm going to do it right now. Have a wonderful Sunday. No, it's Saturday.